Well guys, today is finally the day that I am going to plant my spring bulbs. We have a gorgeous day today, perfect weather to get all of my spring bulbs planted out in my garden. I've done all my garden prep. I've uh, cleaned out all my annuals and cut back my perennials. So I have lots of room and lots of area to see where I can plant all of my spring bulbs. This is the collection that I am starting with this year and uh, each one of these boxes has 100 bulbs in it. The uh, little bags all have 50 bulbs in them. Uh, this one is daffodils. It has about 100 I think of daffodils in this one. All together I think there's just under 600, 600 bulbs that I'm going to be planting today. So I'm going to get those loaded up in my wagon and brought out to my garden so I can get started on my planting. My name is Bonnie, this is Artist in the Garden. Let's plant some spring bulbs. Well guys, this year for my bulb planting, I am, now you can see me, <laughs> I'm going to try using an auger to dig all of the holes for the bulbs. It's, uh, it's on the smaller side, we'll see how it does, but I think it'll make quick work of digging the amount of holes I need to dig for all of these tulips and daffodils to go in my garden this fall. So my bulbs last year were the main focus was around the main rock and I did come out in sort of bouquet groupings out into the front. So this year I think I'm going to start just beyond this hosta and start with a drift around where my two hostas here are going to come up and to kind of fill in with the same exotic blend i think it's exotic elegance tulip blends that i did last year so let's get started with the auger and dig some holes Appalachian sunrise eats my skin even with my eyes still closed i can feel it coming in golden golden i'll follow only golden I am loving this new auger to dig all my holes with. It gives you a great outline of where your placement of tulips and daffodils are actually going to go. So I'm going to keep working away at uh, getting my placement down and with uh, all my holes here in the garden. And then we'll go over some of the selection of tulips and daffodils that I'm going to add into all of my holes. Okay, so to start with, around the rock over here on this section. So you can see I've got all of my holes kind of laid out. You can see kind of the drift of pattern that these exotic elegance tulips are going to continue. Around the main rock here is where I have the original planting of this exotic elegance tulip. I'm going to start with some daffodils in the front and then it'll continue on into a drift of the exotic elegance down through the garden. And if I need to make some more holes, we can always dig some more holes. Very much fun. Very much fun. It was a lot of fun using the auger to dig the holes this year. So let me show you the exotic elegance tulips. So the same as the ones that, they're the same tulips that I planted in the garden last year so they are this beautiful blend oh the lighting is horrible here let me change the camera angle 
So we're going to start with the Exotic Elegance blend of tulips and you can see they are gorgeous. I love the purples and whites and that really deep dark mahogany purple Queen of the Night. It's one of my favorites and I did pick up an extra bag of Queen of the Night to do in a container. I have to figure out which container I want to put them in but uh, it might be this one up at the front or maybe we'll save that one for the back patio. But to start with around the rock we're going to continue with this exotic elegance blend of tulips and so i'll show you how they come these tulips i all all these tulips i've ordered from costco so they come in labeled bags and each bag has 20 bulbs of this one is blue diamond tulip and what else do we have in here we've got hot pants so 20 of the hot pants tulips where is my queen of the night? Double Shirley. That was the, the frilly one. Labrador. Queen of the night. Here she is. 20 of the queen of the night. They're really, really dark, almost black tulips. So we have all the bags. Our last one here is D flaming a flag. So I'm going to open all the bags, I'll put them in the box, and then as I go, I will kind of break up the pattern so that it's a nice, uh, a nice drift of a mix of all of the colors in this exotic elegance blend. Well, let's get planting them. my first box of 100 tulips in the ground in the garden and it filled up most of the space it'll make a nice drift off the main rock there where the original exotic elegance tulips are planted so for the front of this garden I'm going to continue on with these daffodils so these are my daffodils that I'm going to plant along the front they are just the pink assorted daffodils that I picked up at the Costco warehouse so Let's get these in the ground. Okay, well, I've got 100 tulips in so far and 50 daffodils as well as my hyacinths. So there was only, only 25 in here. <laughs> and I just continued those along the front. So those will come up nice and uh, early with the tulips. So the hyacinths and they smell amazing. So on to the next side of the garden. So over here on the opposite side of the sidewalk or the walkway, uh, can you see? So the opposite side of the walkway, I'm going to do a different collection of tulips. And for this collection, I'm doing the Double Your Joy Peony Tulip Collection. Gorgeous double blooms on all of these tulips, some pinks and whites. Uh, there's a couple of yellows, which will add a nice pop of color in there with the purple, pink and white. So that's where this collection is going to go. I've already dug all of my holes on for this side of the garden so let's get them in the ground walk up the river by my son 
feet step over splinters of the moon. Well, guys, I think that is going to be it for today. I have 250, 275 bulbs in the garden. I think that's quite an accomplishment for the day. Whew, I still have a huge box of daffodils that I haven't opened yet, but I already have a spot in mind for those. So you'll have to stay tuned for the next video to keep watching for the bulb planting a fall 2021 bulb planting my name is bonnie this is artist in the garden thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you in the next one bye bye golden golden things golden wildflower